All right, welcome, welcome. We have the man himself, Eve Shop, aka Dave. How's it going, bro? Good, man. Nice to be here. Yeah, nice, nice. So, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, the age old question when did you first start to get into music, say, uh, Ooh. The first, like, DJing, so to speak. Like, you're buying vinyl, I don't know, burning CDs, yeah. recording mixtapes, I don't know. <laughs> what, 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 where did it start for well, you? It probably started when I was a child, man. Listening to my dad's old records. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. nice. To, to, to get quite into them, eh? Way back. Yeah, yeah. You had stuff like the Beatles and the Bee Gees and, and stuff. That I really didn't take them fancy, but I really liked the vinyl. <laughs> like oh, the, right. Yeah. Anyway, um, nah, probably about... Mm, I started DJing when I was about 14 or 15, and... Oh, oh yeah, way back a few. It's quite, quite um, young. It's I'm, 30, I'm 31. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was quite some time ago. Uh, just a group of the of the boys. One of the one of the one of the crew got a set of turntables, and um, we all just started, uh, I guess, train wrecking. Yeah. Uh, jungle music together. Just, oh yeah. 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 Nice. So that's where it all started, eh? That's where it all started. You progress through. So you're from Wellington, is that right? Uh, no, I, I spent no. quite a bit of time there. I, yeah. I moved down there just to sort of study when I was uh, around sort of nineteen twenty. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. just a. It's a very impromptu interview. <laughs> yeah. Don't really know a lot about him, but let's let's learn some. Okay. All right. So where are you from? So I'm from Auckland. Yep. Originally. Yep. yep. And then I moved to Wellington for a while, and uh, right. I did I did a lot of music stuff down there. That was kind of where I really sort of, I don't know, just kind of dug my heels in and. Uh, learned to DJ and, and started doing a lot more gigs and um, and then of course starting to produce um, and write music as well. Nice, nice. So the new EP, what's that? Tell us a bit, bit about that. When's that coming out? This March? In yep. March or yeah, now? It's, it's it's it came out on well it came yeah. out exclusively on uh, Juno a couple of weeks on uh, Juno, a week, right? A week ago, I think it was featured, and now it's out um, on everywhere. You can get it at Beatport, iTunes, and your, any of your digital online stores. Sick. Yeah, Sick. it came out I think yesterday. So, yep. Beauty. Right, mate. And you've got a tour coming up to kind of promote the EP as well. Yeah, yeah. Just doing another tour. We've got a, the first date is uh, Auckland um, on the twenty eighth of April. Yes. And then on to Hamilton the following week on the 5th of May, playing at Flow. So Auckland is at Coherent uh, with Tokyo Pros from Summer Recordings, Ooh, yes. Soul Science and Andy Beck. Nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Hamilton is Agent Alvin and myself, and also uh, Soul Science and some local support from there. Uh, both supported by MC Danger and uh, my vocalist uh, Willie C that was on my first EP. Uh, nice. He's coming on tour with me, so his name is like uh, he's 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 going under Soul Lyric now. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so he's on well, the tour. Man. And That's then we have dates. Uh, we're, we're looking at Wellington. We're still trying to lock in the time, uh, but the ne- the other two dates that are confirmed: are Wanaka and Queenstown. So where can people find more? Details or more info? Oh, more info, just go to Facebook. Um, yep. uh, I guess Eavesdrop NZ. Yeah, um, look yourself the up. the fan yep. page. Yeah, all the information on the band pages and all that kind of stuff's there. So nice. See tour dates and, and upcoming releases and it's a rather stuff you want to see. Rather large local lineup on there. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Boys are getting involved. Tokyo Pros and Soul Science. Yep. Johnny Boy. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, no, nice. they're, they're fully supporting what I've been doing recently, so it's. Um, it's quite nice to sort of, yeah, it's kind of nice to have them all sort of there to, because um, really, you know, when you're doing a, a release party, it's really just a celebration of, of some hard work. For sure. Um, so I think, you know, and they will understand that as producers, so it's kind of nice to sort of have of them along and they will play sick tunes. Nice. I'm not really in the, uh, you know, I'm not, re- I'm not a producer at all, I have no idea. So how, mu- how much work would you really put into how much have you put into this new EP, so to speak? Like, um, or you, <laughs> I, every I night it's after work, hard or? work. But uh, well, actually, I I'm, I was between one job and another job, um, and I had some time on my hands, and so I kind of didn't leave the studio for about a month. Um, and so, yeah, it was pretty much a solid month's work. One of the tunes was actually um, written last year, uh, a little bit after I released the first EP. Um, and I just hadn't really sold it, and I wanted to release it, so I decided to put it on this latest EP. Nice. Uh, that was one by one, so that was last year. And then the rest of them, yeah, were written during that month period. So, good stuff. Yeah, man, good stuff. What was the other EP? What was it there? What was it there? The, the first one was Air on Fire Air EP. On fire. No, yeah, that nice. was released on Wellington based label Empathy Recordings. Empathy, right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and that went really well. There's some, um, yeah, it just kind of gave me a bit of exposure, and then. Uh, I've done a few remixes since then. I did a, a remix of uh, a track by Gautier, somebody I used to know, yeah. which was pretty, um, 
which was a pretty big song. I mean, obviously worldwide he he topped number one in yeah, a lot yeah. of countries. Um, so my remix has been pretty popular as well. It's uh, I think it's done a uh, two and a half million views on YouTube. Nice. So it's, yeah, it's tough. Been downloaded by everybody, and I've seen it pop up on mixes all over the world and stuff. So that's been quite quite good. It's been really good exposure actually. It's kind of doing something like that. Wicked man. All right, what uh, what track are we going to play here off the EP? Uh, uh, let's do the title, shall we? Yeah. What about backlight? We'll start with that, eh? Backlight beauty sounds right. good, mate. Sounds cool. good. Beautiful, beautiful Thanks, stuff, mate. Yeah. This uh, this vocalist, uh, Kashia, she's um, 
She was she was actually on uh, New Zealand Idol. I think oh, yeah? the first series, yeah. And uh, I think she came ninth or something. But she um she she turned up back in New Zealand. She lives in Japan with her husband, mm-hmm. and she is a friend of a friend, um, another musician, uh, Shanti Bella Shanti. She's a hip hop uh, MC, and uh, she popped around to record some some hooks for her uh, for Shanti's music. And uh, I convinced her to, to sing on the <laughs> to sing on the MP- EP, but <laughs> it didn't take too much convincing. Good but, stuff. Um, she liked the music, so that was cool. Uh, yeah. So. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Should we talk about other stuff that I'm doing? Yes. Other what new else? tunes that are coming out? Any other tunes? Yeah. Any collabs or anything like that? Yeah. I've got a um, I've got a couple of collabs actually. One with J Dubs, who's a hip hop MC, and he's uh, featuring on a track uh, called "The Cat Burglar." And then the that's the B side, and then the A side is a, uh, a, a song that I did with the drummer from Shapeshifter, Johnny Hooves, mm. who is uh, currently living in Melbourne. And uh, we worked in the studio for a, I think didn't th- I don't think we left for three days just after New Year's just locked ourselves <laughs> in there and work a few packets of chips and <laughs> way to go eh yeah, yeah. that's how it's done man yeah for yeah. sure bit of weed <laughs> work it Should all right we, uh, so, yeah what, what what's this other tune you're going to play tell us about that tell us well about. this one here is actually fresh actually fresh out of the studio it's not mm. it's not complete actually it's just kind of almost there. Um, it's a, a the sample I actually um, I re I replayed um, that song Mad World by REM. Mm-hmm. I, I, the the chord progression of it's just so beautiful, and I just thought why not add that and and, and do it into a drum bass track. So oh, it's kind sweet. of yeah, it's just kind of happened. So let's, let's do it. Let's have a listen to that. I love Donnie Darko. Yeah.
Thanks for coming up. It's great having a chat and uh, playing your new tunes, new EP, and new this new straight out of the studio track. Love it. Called who knows yet? Maybe, called, maybe called it's blank. Well, maybe it's called Mad World. Mad, yeah. Maybe REM might like that. Maybe they'll get upset. Yeah, it happens quite a bit, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not sampled, um, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, who yeah. knows? We might need to change it a bit more, but we'll see. Of we'll see what happens. Surely not. Surely anyway. Not. Yeah. So what are you doing now? You're going to play something different. What do you I got to play next? I am going to play some ads. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Bye all. See Thanks you. for having me out.